Okay, so sometimes uh, in applications, we measure a key variable which is uh, measured on a scale that is difficult to interpret. And we saw one example where we were interested in explaining house price based on pollution which is measured by nitrogen oxide in the area and some other factors. And this variable NOx or nitrogen oxide was our variable of interest. Now the problem is this variable is measured on a scale which is very difficult to interpret. And the interpretation of this coefficient beta 1 in this case will be that if nitrogen oxide increases by one unit, that is pollution increases by one unit, house price changed by this coefficient. Now what do we mean by one unit increase in pollution? So when we encounter this type of model, it is always better to represent your model using beta coefficient or standardized coefficients to make the interpretation more intuitive. And uh, this beta coefficient name, it is kind of unfortunate because we have been using beta to denote these OLS estimates. Anyways, so these beta coefficients represent uh, these standardized coefficients. For each variable, we subtract the value of the mean from each value and divide it by the standard deviation of that variable. Similarly, we do the same thing with all the variables on the right hand side, subtract the mean value and divide it by the standard deviation. And we're gonna do it for all the variables in the model. So now we have a new variable. Instead of y variable in the regression model, we are using z of y because this z means it's a standardized variable. So we can write our model as this model. So the interpretation would be if xj increases by one standard deviation rather than by one unit, y will change by bj, our standardized coefficient that we estimated using these z scores rather than these original variables in the model. So the interpretation is more intuitive and easier to understand. So next I'm going to show you an example in R and in fact I'm going to show you the same example of pollution and house prices and I'm going to convert all the variables into z scores and then I'm going to talk about the interpretation of each coefficient value. Okay so here we are in R and I'm using a house price 2 data and first I'm going to regress the model in level level and as we can see this variable NOx or nitrogen oxide in the air it has a negative and statistically significant impact on house prices but it is very difficult to interpret this coefficient value because according to this coefficient value if nitrogen oxide increases by one unit then house price will decrease by this much but we are not sure what we mean by one unit increase in uh, nitrogen oxide for that we have to understand the science behind nitrogen oxide so it will be much useful if we could rescale all these variables and make them unit free so that we don't have to worry about the unit of measurement so this is what i'm doing i'm going to use the scale function which will do the same thing that i showed you previously it will uh, subtract mean value from each value and divide it uh, by the standard deviation so that each of these coefficients are standardized. So I'm going to do the same thing with uh, all the variables in the model. And notice here I'm not including the intercept in the model because if we subtract the mean value of the intercept and divide it by the standard deviation, it will be zero. So I'm going to call this model Z and rest this and then I'm going to show you the results. Each variable is uh, represented on the standardized terms. Hence, each of these uh, coefficient value represents standard deviation change in the y variable caused by each of uh, these variables. For example, one standard deviation increase in nitrogen oxide decreases prices by 0 0.34 standard deviation. And a one standard deviation increase in crime reduces price by about 0.14 standard deviations. Also note that the values are identical across these two models. No matter we measure these variables on the regular scale or we convert these variables on standardized scale. P values are identical. Also note that R squared is also identical in both cases. So nothing changes except our interpretation is easier. So which means that we can use these standardized or unstandardized variables. All these statistics are identical whether we use standardized or unstandardized variables. So sometimes if your variable of interest it is very hard to interpret use beta coefficients 
and interpret the results in terms of uh, standard deviation increase or decrease and standard deviation changes. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.